Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I've transformed myself into my favourite Disney princess, Snow White. However, her beauty has been taken away by a poisonous apple given to her by the evil queen. I'm going to leave links down below to two other YouTubers that have done a poison Snow White tutorial because they're so good. I love them both so much, but I really wanted to do my own take on this look, which I hope you enjoy. So without further ado, let's get going. Snow White's ready for her close-up. Okay, so to start, I'm quickly pinning my Snow White hair back, and once that's done, I'm taking my usual foundation with a few drops of Lightning Shade Adjuster to begin, making my skin as white as snow. I'm using my Miracle Complexion Sponge to create a nice even coverage. Next, I'm going in with my NYX HD Finishing Powder, which is translucent, to set the foundation in place. Snow White's skin has to be flawless. A Disney princess needs gorgeous eyebrows, so I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in shade Dark Brown to make my brows more defined and full. Cheeks next, and I'm using my Tarte Blush in shade Fearless and being quite generous, putting it across both of my cheeks and the tip of my nose before blending it out with a fluffy brush. You wouldn't be a princess without glowing skin, so I'm taking my new favourite highlighting palette, which is the Sleek Solstice palette, using the golden shade on my cheekbones, tip of nose and cupid's bow. And I'm also putting a tiny bit on my brow bone. Eyeshadow next, keeping it natural with a light brown shade from my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. I'm applying it all over my eyelids before smoking it out with my Sigma Diffused Crease Brush. Moving on to a light cranberry shade, I'm taking it under my lower lash line and creating a new inner corner. And then I'm going to be taking my fluffy brush again to soften it out a little. Snow White has big beautiful eyes so I'm using my NYX eyeliner pencil in pure white along my waterline. Going back in with my highlighting palette, this is the lighter shade. I'm using it in the inner corner of my eyes to brighten them up. This is actually one of my favourite makeup tricks. You can't be a princess without perfect eyeliner, so I'm using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner for this. It has taken me literally years of practice to not mess this up. <laughs> Go ahead and do it on both eyes and it's time for mascara. I'm using Benefit's Their Real Mascara to give my upper lashes a quick coat before I pop on some fluttery false lashes. I'm sure Snow White didn't have long lashes but let's be real, she should have. They're clearly a princess must have. I apply some glue and pop them on. We're almost Snow White, but not without her classic red lips, which are as red as blood. I'm using my favourite red lipstick, which is Russian Red from MAC, and I applied it with a lip brush for a little bit more precision before giving my lips a final coat with the actual lipstick. And Snow White is complete. If you want to stop here and be the beautiful Snow White, then you can, or you can continue with the video if you want to be Poison Snow White. I clipped my hair back and popped in a red contact lens from Pinky Paradise in one of my eyes and I made some boils out of gelatin. I will leave instructions down below on how I made them. I'm applying spirit gum to my face and the boil prosthetics, waiting for the adhesive to become tacky before applying the boils to my face. And I wanted to focus on one side more than the other, but it's entirely up to you where you place them. Repeat this process until you're happy with your boil ridden skin. Once they're securely stuck down, it's time to paint, and I'm using two of my Skin Illustrator palettes, focusing mainly on the red and the bruised tones to try and create an irritated skin feel. I took a makeup sponge and picked chunks of it out to create an uneven pattern, and these paints are actually activated by alcohol, but you could totally do this with face paints or cream-based makeup if that's all you have. 
I blended some of the paint before going in with a blood red tone around all of the boils as I wanted them to look quite sore. There is no right or wrong way to do this, do as much or as little as you want to. I also added a couple of veins with a shade called Vein Tone from my Flesh Tones palette as the poison would have been in her blood. After tweaking some of the colour I wanted to ruin her makeup as I felt it looked a little bit too perfect so I smudged the lipstick. It's blood time. This one is called Fresh Scab by Ben Nye and I'm just applying it with a metal spatula as I didn't really want to ruin any of my makeup brushes. And again, how much or how little blood is entirely up to you, but I love it. Next I took my Ben Nye bruise wheel to create some bruising and irritation around my eye and I also eventually took my eyelash strip off this eye too because that's what was making it look a little bit too pretty still. Lastly, I felt the boils were too matte, so I applied a coat of Vaseline to them to give them a little bit more of a moist appearance. Yep, I used that disgusting word. And you're done! Snow White's beauty has been taken away from her. Thank you guys ever so much for watching, don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you enjoy the video and if you're brand new to my channel why not subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I will see you in my next one. I love you guys, I'm gonna go and find Prince Charming. <laughs>